Hello and welcome to video number one of a mini series that I'm going to put together just on making electrical illustrations in Microsoft Visio. My name is Joel Feenstra. I'm an electrical instructor here in British Columbia in Canada. This morning I put on a workshop on how to go and draw, uh, create illustrations for the purpose of being able to teach from or put out into informational, you know, literature, brochures, curriculum, and things like that. I've done this extensively for a number of years. By no means are these going to be the best methods, nor necessarily is this the best illustration software. However, it is part of the Microsoft suite. It integrates cleanly with the rest of your Windows uh, suite. You can import the pictures. You can actually edit them inside of uh, Word and things like that. So it makes it a handy, useful piece. Primarily, the biggest thing is the fact that we're going to be able to create shapes and we're going to be able to reutilize those shapes to create all sorts of different drawings out of them. So we're going to roll through in the exact same order as what we did inside of this morning's workshop, uh, except there won't be any questions as we're going along. You'll just have to stop and go back and rewind if you need help catching up. The other thing that I do want to point out is what we are dealing with is going to be Microsoft Visio. I'm running a 2019 desktop version. If you're using the web version, you are screwed. Talk to your IT department, tell them that that is garbage because you can't load and do the things that you actually need to go and do with that and ask them to get you the proper desktop version. You will not be able to do all of the things that I am doing with your desktop version. Primarily, you will not be able to get the same toolbars, nor will you have the same options for stencils. And that's going to be very critical. All right, let's launch into what we are going to go and take a look at right now, though. We're going to go and take a look at Microsoft Visio as a program. What we are going to be dealing with today is we're going to be creating a customized toolbar first off that is going to go and get us access to all of the best components inside of Microsoft Visio. I'm going to go and close mine out here. We're going to start right from the ground up and we will roll through from there. So don't save that drawing and let's roll back to that. I'm going to open Microsoft Visio. It's loading. The first thing that comes up is that we get this blank page. I'm going to select a blank drawing. It's going to ask me what units I want. I'm going to select metric units. It is way easier to use size, shape, and position in metric units than it is inside of US units on a job site. I'm feet and inches all day long. When it comes to drawing, I am metric millimeters. I hit create. We end up at this blank stage over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by going up to file. When I go up to file, I see that I've got a bunch of, you know, save, save as, print all the usual ones. And then down here at the very bottom, I've got account and I have got options. I'm going to click on options here. When I click on options, it's going to go and tell me some general options that are going to be here, as well as accessibility, language, advanced. I'm going to go to customize ribbon over here and inside a customized ribbon I have got the option to do an import or export of a ribbon. Now we sent out an email this morning with all of that uh, those exports uh, laid out already so we're going to go and pick that up. We're going to import the customization file that I sent to you this morning. I'm going to hit import customization file. When I do that, it kicks me over to my documents. I'm going to surf over to my desktop because I saved on my desktop. And right over here, I'm going to go and hit Visio underscore toolbar underscore JF. That's the name of the file. I'm going to hit open. When I do that, I get a little warning sound. It says replace all ribbon and quick access toolbar customizations for this program. So they're talking about all that stuff that's up top there. Yours looks different still. I'm going to say yes because I want the good toolbar. And as soon as I say yes, your toolbar will change to that up there when you hit OK. And at this point now, you should have this toolbar set up. If you cannot go and get access to this, let's put some text in over here. If you need to get a copy of this because you are taking a look at this video because you've run into somebody else and they've told you to go and you know watch through this, email me right over here to that address, joel.feenstra at ufv.ca. When you do that, uh, just tell me that you're looking for this Visio customization file and I'll send you a copy. Sound good? Perfect. That's the end of this video number one. We've loaded the toolbar and ready to draw. 